Hi there, today we're going to attempt to build a Raspberry Pi arcade box. Now, we've got some of the bits and pieces for it, so the gaming controls, like the joystick, the buttons, etc. Obviously the Raspberry Pi and the screen as well. So this is an initial prototype we built. Now, we're a bit confused how to do this initially, so we thought we'd just have a play about, see what we could do with cardboard and a glue gun. So, just wanted to work out initially the size we wanted. So, for initial prototype, this was quite good. It does work. It's even got a, an on-off button here. So you can press that, power it on, press it again to power it off gracefully. Uh, we've got a speaker in there as well, which is quite cool. And there's all the other bits. So you've got buttons to actually adjust the monitor. So I've got details of all the components I purchased in the description below. Now, we wanted to make it a bit more like an arcade machine now. So we've got a rough idea, obviously, from building this, the sort of sizings we're after. So the way we're gonna approach this is, initially, I was playing around with drawing a template up. So this is the initial side template I've drawn. Now, the idea being, take the template, cut it out, cut out the cardboard, and then next second, you've got the side. So we're going to build this up with the templates we've done. Another template we've done is the actual controls here. So this is not the configuration we wanted. We just obviously wanted to try different things out. So we want like a, a six button area here and the joystick here. And this is just for the side, just there. So. What you need initially is a large piece of cardboard. Now, you can use the template. I'll try to put a link to the template in the description below. So, I've got a long piece of cardboard. I worked out the, the width that I wanted and obviously the depth for it to go in. And what, literally, what, what I literally did, just take the, the template, put it straight over this area and then took a compass and poked into the areas and then cut the areas out using a knife very carefully obviously put something underneath so this allows us to have the areas the buttons to go in like so and then the next template is obviously for the side which is just there poke it in the same way with a compass and push the buttons in and then the next thing we're going to do we're gonna to aim to stick this at the side and that'll give us sort of our gaming area here. And then we're gonna put bits of cardboard inside to prop this up. So this is quite a cheap and easy way of doing this. Um, obviously you can make this out of wood and we will probably make this at some stage out of wood. But for this current prototype, we thought it'd be a good idea just to try it out in cardboard first. So. I've doubled up the cardboard here, obviously to make it slightly thicker. And then the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna push all the buttons through, connect them all up, and then, like I said, with this in mind, so sticking it like so, just have props inside just to hold it steady. Okay, just to show where we are now. So, controller's all done all the buttons and the joystick, buttons here as well, just to show how we've done it here. So we'll just cable tied it up, just to tidy the cables up. And the actual board here for the controls, we've got a small bit of cardboard in there and we just use a glue gun just to stick it on. So that's that bit. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna get some card just here and slot it in to give a bit more support. So when you're pressing it, just keeps it a bit more firmer. So I might do some around maybe there, there, and maybe here as well, just to strengthen it a bit more. Okay, so everything's connected. We've tested the board and the buttons and the joystick just to make, they, make sure they work. And this is how we've found a way to provide extra support. So little columns, one on each side, and some cardboard here, all hot glue gunned down. So once you put it on there, as you're pressing, it's just a bit more strength on the board. 
So, now to show the next bit, so the sides. So the sides can just be glued on like so. So we're nearly there. So just the two sides to stick on and then we can work on doing the back and the top, etc. So let me do that in the background and then I'll show the next stage. Okay, so we've got the sides stuck on now. So they're coming into shape now, as you can see. Just put it down. All good so far. Just to show the back, put a bit more glue here, a little bit there to stick it, and a little bit of glue along the edges here. So that's fine. Next thing we're going to work out is obviously a part for the back, part for the top, and obviously a mount for the screen. So let's work that okay. out. So the next thing we want to do, we want to work on actually mounting the screen on here. So we've got a small seven inch screen and I've got some cardboard obviously. I'm going to get the cardboard sort of going around. So just to show, I'm going to bend it in this and get it over this and then slightly over here as well. Hopefully that should make it a bit more further. Now I've positioned the screen here. Obviously you've got the silver frame there. So I've marked on the cardboard where I want to cut it. So just going to cut around this area and then I'll work out a way of actually sort of securing it onto the back like so. So what I might do is just place like a border sort of a frame of cardboard all the way around and then maybe straps of cardboard just holding it in place. So that should be good enough just to hold it. So let me cut this out very carefully with a knife so it's straight and then we can sit it into place. Okay, just to show the screen now in place on the cardboard. So we've cut the gap out on there, put something, so little bits of cardboard to stop it from moving. I'm gonna get a larger piece of cardboard, stick that straight on. So we've just got the ribbon sticking out of the back to connect it to its actual board. Okay, so the screen's now secured on the cardboard, as you can see. Um, just to show, obviously I've glued bits of cardboard just to hold it in place and a big piece on top and then the driver board for the actual screen is stuck on just above and there's another board that comes with it just to be able to adjust the settings on the screen. So we've stuck that on it. We don't really need that visible on the outside. So that's that. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna work on actually sticking this in now, like so. So just to show you an idea how we're gonna do this, um, we're going to get bits of cardboard uh, angled and we're going to stick it at the side in multiple places, probably three on each side to just hold it in quite a firm position. So let's carry on doing that and then we can just sort of mould it around over it. So let's carry on with that and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, so we've finally completed our RetroPie Arcade Gaming Box. So let me just show you at the back what we did. So we attached the actual cardboard for the screen with some straps here made out of cardboard. So just cut them out, glued them on both ends and that's done that. At the bottom we've put a line of glue all the way to the end just to hold that in place. We've put another piece of card at the back just to hold everything in like the wires and things so nothing pops out easily. We've got a gap here to be able to put a power bank. I've got a small power bank here at the moment, but we're gonna buy a larger one later on. We've got an area here to hold the Raspberry Pi. So that's quite good. Uh, obviously the flap there as well, you can close. You could actually maybe get some Velcro, a small piece of Velcro just to hold that in place if you wanted. But I just wanna actually show just the basic idea here to get you going. Distance wise, from one end to the other, dependent on how you want it really, and obviously screen. So this screen is a seven inch screen, which is, uh, I think it was around the 40 pounds mark. The controls, 
were approximately, I think, 10 to 15 pounds. So not a, a massive amount to spend on this. You could go for a larger screen. Measuring this, we could have gone for a 10 inch screen. But obviously the price goes up as you go for these larger components. So the distance wise, we could have had it a bit more compact, but we wanted a little more distance between the actual buttons and the actual joystick. But we could have got it a bit more tighter. So up to you to decide how you want it. And obviously one piece of cardboard going this way and another piece going all the way back. It is quite rigid. Obviously we've got two layers of cardboard here and we've cut into it to put the buttons and we've got some additional support at either end plus some support here as well to ensure if you do hit it quite hard, it doesn't collapse. And the controller as well, quite a good, good feel to it. So good idea as a template, you know, to get you started. It's cost us nothing, to be honest. Um, glue wise, I think we've maybe used maybe five to 10 glue sticks at the most. I wasn't really keeping a track of that. Um, so the main thing is obviously your Raspberry Pi, your screen and your gaming components. That's the main things you left to buy. And with the actual box itself, it's just a starting point to go further from this. So you can actually obviously put stickers at the side, put some paper, obviously some designs on there. You can get the Street Fighter one maybe, or just retro pictures on there. So a good starting point. Uh, I've got some links in the description below. So if anybody's interested in buying these bits and pieces, you can click on there to give you an idea of the prices currently for that. Um, I'll try to put links to the actual template for my side here and the width here and the button locations. That's quite straightforward to do. No issue of, I guess, how you want to do this. You could have them slightly angled if you want. It's all dependent on how you prefer to do gaming on this. But yeah, really pleased with this. I hope it's given some people inspiration on making something similar. So thanks for viewing and don't forget to like and subscribe.